Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook, The Strongest Swordsman in the Fairy Guild. Chapter 66. Boom. The terrifying magic power of the two people shot straight into the sky, and the celestial phenomena in the sky couldn't help but change. What a terrifying magic power. Many magicians in the auditorium felt the magic power of the two people and were all shocked. Is this, the ten holy wizards? So powerful. Leon and Sharia also came here to watch the battle when they heard that Fairy Tail was going to have a duel with Phantom Lord. 2. Please stop. The referee sent by the Magic Council said quickly. Jose put away his magic power and said. That's right, the battle between the ten holy wizards will be shattered, and all the people present will be affected. Ma Karloff also put away his magic power, this is not the time to fight with Jose, 047. 2. According to the requirements of both guilds, the rule of this competition is that each side chooses five people to fight one-on-one, -on -one, and the other side won't win until all the people on one side are defeated. And the losing party will disband its own guild, do you have any objections to the guild leaders of both parties? Ma Karloff said coldly, no. Originally, he didn't want to make things so extreme, but Yi Yan was right. The other party was about to reach the bottom line, so he should let the other party disappear completely. I'm fine. Okay, let's sign the agreement. Both Carlos and Jose left their names on the agreement, this time it was arbitrated by the Magic Senate, so there was no room for repentance. While Ma Karloff was talking to Jose, members of Fairy Tale and Phantom Lord are also facing each other. Everyone had a murderous expression on their faces, their jaws raised high, and they looked down at each other, as if two gangsters were confronting each other before a fight. Didn't Gildarts, Laxus, and Mistogan participate? You really underestimated us. Gajil glanced, but didn't see the three of Gildarts. The three are Fairy Tales' signature S-rank wizards, and they are also famous in the magic world the famous wizard. For you, I'm enough alone. Natsu said, staring at Gajil. The only S-level mages in fairy tale are the Sword Emperor, Yi Yan and the Fairy Queen, Urza. The Devil, Mira is no longer able to participate in the battle. The four elements of our ghosts are all there, and there is me. The big ace is here, and it looks like our Phantom Lord will win this time. I said it. I am enough to deal with you. Urza reached out to stop Natsu, looked at Gajil calmly and said, The victory depends on strength, not quantity. The ghost's earth elemental Saul said, no, no, no. The strength is also stronger than our great phantom lord. That's right, we ghosts are not comparable to you fairy tales. Suddenly, Yi Yan's voice sounded and said, If you don't want to lose arms and legs, just keep your mouth shut. Several people fell silent for a while, and looked at Yi Yan. Sword Emperor, Yi Yan is the most famous mage in the fairy tale guild and there are rumors that Yi Yan is also the strongest mage in the fairy tale guild. The whole person looks like an ordinary person, but the more it represents the other party's strength, the more terrifying it is. Soon, the agreement signed by the president was completed, and the two guilds also turned around and returned to their respective areas. What are the four elements? Lucy asked a little puzzled. Mira explained. The four elements in the Phantom Lord Guild are equivalent to the S-level mages of our fairy tale guild, and the most difficult thing is the Iron Dragon's Gajil, who is the suspect who attacked our guild, Iron Dragon Slayer. Lucy was very surprised, Dragon Slayer. Is there anyone else besides Natsu? Well, so from the point of view of personnel alone, Phantom Lord dispatched four elements and Gajil, while our fairy tale only has Yi Yan and me. Two S level mages, participating in the battle, and the opponent seems to have an advantage. It's so powerful, doesn't this mean that the opponent has a huge advantage? The opponent is equivalent to five S level mages, and the fairy tale guild only has two S level mages. Five versus two, no matter how you look at it, fairy tale is at a disadvantage. HMPH. What iron dragon, see if I don't burn him into scrap iron. Yi Yan smiled and said, Advantages and disadvantages don't count that way, the gap between the same S-level mages is huge, not to mention that the opponent is an S-level mage from Phantom Lord, not our fairy tale and S-rank mage. Lucy blinked her eyes, a little unable to understand what Yi Yan said. The broadcaster Jabadi said, Okay, the two sides seem to have finished their preparations. According to the agreement between the two guilds, each of the two guilds will select five people to fight one-on-one. -on -one. 
Until the last person is defeated, the duel is over and the loser will disband his own guild, and the winner will become the number one mage guild in Kingdom of Fury. This is really an exciting and fateful duel. 17. The first duel will start right now. I don't know who the two sides will send to the field. I come. Natsu went first. Wait. Natsu you fool. Both Alfman and Grey were a little angry. They also wanted to play, but they were preempted by Natsu. How could they play without notifying themselves? Old man. The two looked at Carlos Ma, the chairman. Ma Karloff said helplessly, forget it, he's exhausted, let Natsu take the lead. 4.0. Fairy Tale sent Natsu Dolanigal, who has recently become famous and is known as the Fire Dragon. I don't know who Phantom Lord will send. Fire, let Juvia go. Said Juvia, the water element among the four ghost elements. The fire element among the four elements of ghosts, Totomaru of fire said, No, it's up to me, I want to let him know what the real fire wizard is. Jose sneered and said, Don't show mercy, fairy tale is a trash guild, it's best to take the opportunity to kill the other party. Yes, president. The phantom lord sent the fire elemental of the four elements, Totomaru the fire, and it looks like it's a fire versus fire showdown. Fire wizard. Great. Natsu is the nemesis of Fire Wizard. We've won this match. Many people in Fairy Tale were taken aback when they saw that the other party sent a Fire Magister, and surprise followed. Everyone in Fairy Tale knows that Natsu is the Dragon Slayer of Fire. Fire magic has no effect on Natsu, and will even be swallowed by Natsu to become Natsu's power. So they won the first game. Natsu and Totomaru stand face to face. Both sides are ready, the first duel, start. One move to get rid of you. With flames burning in his fist, Natsu rushed towards the burning Totomaru. Boom. Woohoo. Natsu cried out in pain, and his fist hit his face. Natsu, what are you doing? Many people in fairy tale were surprised to see Natsu hitting himself. Not. Not the body himself. Many people in Phantom Lord laughed. It started, Totomaru's specialty. Do it again. Oh. Natsu yelled that the flame was burning on the other fist and rushed towards the fire Totomaru again. Boom. Wow. Whoa whoa whoa. His own fist hit him in the face again, and Natsu couldn't help rolling several times on the ground. What the hell is going on here? Natsu from fairy tale hit himself. Many people in the spectator seats couldn't help talking. Ha ha ha. What fairy tale's fire dragon is nothing more than that. Ha ha ha. That's right. Under Mr. Totomaru's hands, there is no resistance at all. Everyone in the Phantom Lord Guild laughed loudly when they saw this scene. It hurts to death, come again, what's going on? Natsu was a little confused, not knowing why his body was out of control. Grey yelled at Natsu, Natsu, what are you doing, hurry up and kill this guy. If you can't kill him, come down to me quickly, I will kill him. I'll kill him right away. Natsu heard Grey's words and rushed towards the burning Totomaru again. Fire Totomaru raised his palm, and Natsu's flames wrapped around Natsu's body. Fire Totomaru rushed in front of Natsu quickly, and hit Natsu on the face with his knee. Whoa! Natsu fell backwards with a cry of pain. I am Totomaru who manipulates the fire element, and I can manipulate all flames. What did you say? Whether it's the enemy or the natural flame, it's all mine. My flame is mine. Ma Karloff was also a little surprised. What a powerful flame manipulation skill. You will be unlucky if you meet me, Flame Magic Islander. Cyan Flame. Fire Totomaru waved his hand, and a blue flame attacked Natsu. After Natsu saw the flame, he opened his mouth wide and the flame was swallowed by Natsu continuously. Gajil pouted after seeing it, you idiot. In a blink of an eye, all the flames were eaten by Natsu. Oh, it's so cold. It's the first time I've eaten this kind of flame. What? It can actually devour flames. I've never seen such magic. Is this the fire dragon slayer magic? There were exclamations from many people in the auditorium. What a mistake, I forgot that you are the dragon slayer of fire, it seems that we can't get along, because the fire is ineffective for us. Don't jump to conclusions so early, you haven't tasted my flame yet. I said the fire couldn't hurt me. Natsu thought about it and came up with a bad idea. The corners of his mouth curled up into a smirk, 
and he puffed up his cheeks and said, What about this magic? No matter what kind of magic, as long as it is flame, I can control it. Fire dragons. It's useless. Totomaru of fire raised his hands ready to control Natsu's flames, he had heard the fire dragon's legend and knew that Natsu could spit fire magic from his mouth. Saliva. Puff. Natsu's saliva landed on Totomaru's face. Almost everyone was shocked when they saw this. Ha 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 ha. Only Natsu laughed wantonly. Totomaru the fire is angry. You lied to me. Orange flames. Fire magic is a piece of cake. What is it like this time? Natsu was just about to taste it, and then his face changed drastically, and he covered his nose and rolled all over the floor. What, what is this? It stinks. Uhu. Nose is going to be broken. Ha 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 ha, this is an extremely smelly flame. You have bad taste. You did it first. Many people in the auditorium were a little speechless. This is a battle between the strongest two guild mages who bet on the guild's life and death. Why is it different from what they imagined? I can't spare you. Natsu gave up using magic and attacked Totomaru the fire with his bare hands. Should I give up magic and start directly? In this case, is it more beneficial for me to hold a knife? Totomaru of fire quickly drew his sword and slashed towards Natsu. Natsu dodged quickly. Totomaru of fire kept chasing after him, but Natsu dodged them all. I really know how to hide. Your sword skills are far behind Urza and Yi Yan. So, so what? As long as I can kill you, that's enough. Cut. Natsu's fist ignited fire 997 again, intending to attack the opponent before he could control it in time. Totomaru of fire quickly controlled Natsu's flame. Natsu's fist hit Natsu's face again. Natsu dodged hastily. I can't believe it. Natsu's hands were ablaze with flames. What a no-brainer. Totomaru the fire controlled it, and then Natsu himself bruised himself. Natsu. Many people in fairy tale were very worried when they saw this scene. Seeing that the members of his guild were about to win, Jose, the leader of the Phantom Lord Guild, laughed smugly. He he he. How can the garbage mages of the garbage guild be compared with the four elements of my Phantom Lord Guild? Hua. Natsu roared angrily, and the flames wrapped around his fist suddenly became bigger and more violent. Haven't you learned a lesson after suffering so much? Then use this trick to kill you completely. Fire Totomaru raised his hand to control Natsu's flame, but the flame remained motionless. What? Ju. Unable to control this flame. No way, it actually broke the control. Did he realize it during the fight? Natsu yelled at Totomaru. This is my flame, you are not allowed to touch it. I can't help it. Although the flame has no effect on him, it must be resisted. Look at the trick. The strongest magic, the seven color flame. Natsu raised his hand to aim at the Totomaru of fire, and the berserk flames rushed towards the Totomaru of fire. Fire Totomaru also released his strongest seven color flames to resist. Two violent flames collided. Boom. A terrifying explosion erupted in the center of the arena. Wow ah ah ah. The impact of the explosion made Totomaru the fire unable to control it, screaming loudly and being knocked into the air. After a while, the smoke dissipated slowly, Natsu stood panting, while Totomaru the fire fell in the distance. Win. Winner. Fairy tale. Ooh. Fairy tale and everyone in the audience cheered. Although it was a bit speechless at the beginning, the perseverance shown by Natsu and the battle between the two people still made people feel the strength of the two. Win. Dot 1. Ahahahaha. Natsu was also a little dazed, but soon burst into laughter with his hands on his hips. Yuka said, that guy. Dot 1 because of his resistance to flames. It's normal for the Phantom Lord to choose to fight that guy head on. Yuka has fought Natsu and knows how powerful Natsu's flame is. Those fairy tale guys are a nuisance. It's just that you get carried away after winning a game. Many people in the Phantom Lord Guild couldn't see it, and Jose's face was not very good looking. He should have already secured the victory, but he was turned over by the opponent in the end. HMPH, Carlos the horse's kid is still a bit capable. Although Jose's face was not good looking, his tone was still contemptuous of fairy tale mages. Juvia said, then let me go. Go. Juvia is getting ready to play. At this time, Fairy Tail raised her hand to signal a substitution. What? Fairy Tail wants to change. Are you sure? 
If you make a substitution, it means that this person can no longer play, which is no different from failure. These are the rules of the game signed by the two parties before. After all, it would be unfair for a duel if one person takes a break and then plays again. This is a duel that determines the survival of the guild, so the best way is for everyone to fight to the end. Even if they cannot defeat the next opponent, they can consume the mana of the next opponent so that their next companion can win more easily. Yi Yan said, we are sure to change people. Natsu yelled, no, I can still fight, I'm going to kill all those ghosts. You are already injured, there is no need to continue fighting, and we need to let the ghosts know that any mage in our fairy tale guild is stronger than their ghosts. Arya of Azora, the leader of the four elements, said, you are really arrogant, fairy tale. Saul, the earth element, said, the same is missing one person, and they will regret it. Grey, you go. Grey was stunned for a moment, he didn't expect Yi Yan to let him go, and he quickly reacted. Oh. Grey walked towards the center of the arena. Natsu and Grey raised their fists and said, Hey, Grey, don't lose. Grey and Natsu exchanged fists and laughed, I won't look as ugly as you want, I will end this fight cleanly. Grey walked to the center of the field and stood still. Clatter clatter. Huh. Grey raised his head to look at the sky. Rain. Dot why is it raining? It's still sunny now, but the sky is actually dripping with rain. That's right. Juvia is one of the four elements, the rain girl. I didn't expect your companion to defeat Totomaru, but Juvia is not so easy to deal with. Juvia walked away holding an umbrella come over, as Juvia approaches, the rain in the sky is getting heavier. Female. I'm sorry, no matter you are a woman or a child, you ghosts have destroyed our guild, this time it's a battle for the survival of the guild, I will not show mercy. Juvia looked at Grey, and soon Juvia blushed, watching Grey's heart pounding. He's so handsome, I really want to make him my thing. By the way, as long as the fairy tale guild is disbanded, he should come to my side, so Juvia must win this duel. Water bound. With a wave of Juvia's hand, the rain on the ground quickly formed a large water ball, trapping Grey in the water ball. Grey. Ah. Uh. Grey casts his own magic to freeze the ball of water that traps him into ice cubes, and then breaks it apart. Juvia was even more moved when she saw it. She actually froze the water into ice and then smashed it into pieces. She thought that Juvia's water restraint could not be broken. Water and ice really are a natural pair. Okay, you actually made a sneak attack, so I don't have to be polite. Grey said as he took off his shirt. Many people in the auditorium complained in their hearts. Why do you want to take it off? Juvia blushed even more, and the other party took off her clothes just like that, and she wasn't ready yet. Ice make lancers. Grey released a large number of ice javelins with both hands and shot towards Juvia. Puff puff. The ice javelin pierced Juvia's body one by one, but Juvia, okay, seemed to have no effect at all. A. Juvia's body is made of water. Water. Ma Karloff said in surprise. It's really a natural water magician, the rain is probably formed by the magic power that she can't control. Although I can't bear to hurt you, but this is war, goodbye, budding love. Water flow breaks. Juvia waved his hand and released a series of water blades to shoot at Grey to kill. What is this guy talking about? Ah, the rain obscured the realization and Grey was a little overwhelmed. Ice make tomahawk. Grey made an ice axe and cut Juvia horizontally, and Juvia's body was cut off in half. Cut. Although it was cut off, it was obvious that the same attack as before had no actual killing effect. Jabadi shouted, it's so strong. Miss Juvia is worthy of being one of the four elements of the Phantom Lord Guild, she's really so strong. Grey from Fairy Tail can't do anything. You can't win me. If you admit defeat, I won't hurt you. Hey, what are you kidding? At this time, it is impossible for both parties to take a step back. The guild is the most important thing for everyone. There are my most important partners in the guild. I will protect my life even if I risk my life. Good guild. Fight. Risk your life. Then Juvia will risk his life to protect the guild, the most important partner. Is it a lover? Unforgivable. Absolutely unforgivable. Juvia yelled angrily, and her body temperature began to rise. Why do you think of that? Grey was a little confused, not knowing how Juvia's brain circuit grew. It's hot. Hot water. Shoo. 
Juvia's body turned into a stream of water and rushed towards Gray. Gray immediately wanted to use magic, but before the magic could be used, he quickly dodged. So fast. Ice make hyphenation point shield. Gray hurriedly created an ice shield at 547. Shish. The ice shield blocked the impact of Juvia's water flow, but soon the ice shield began to melt due to the temperature of the water. No way. Juvia is burning with jealousy. What made you jealous? The water that Juvia turned into flowed through Gray's body. Ah. It's so hot. My skin is going to be burned. Not in this rain. Gray fell to the ground, it was difficult for him to see the opponent's movements because of the rain. Then the water that Juvia transformed into continuously hit Gray, scalding Gray just by brushing against the scorching heat. Juvia turned into a stream of water rushing towards the sky, and then turned into a jet of water from the sky and swooped down towards Gray. Don't be too arrogant. I won't lose to you. I won't lose to you ghosts. Freeze. Woo. Gray raised his hands and touched the water that Juvia turned into, releasing a powerful cold air. The water in Juvia began to freeze, and in an instant, the water column turned into an icicle. How? Dot how? Dot how? Juvia's hot water will be frozen. Dot in. Gray was also a little proud, but then realized that something was wrong, his hands actually held an important part of Juvia's body. Hua. Gray was taken aback. He grabbed the girl's chest. Is fairy tale such a mage? Although it is a hostile guild, isn't it a bit too much to do so? There were murmurs of discussion from the auditorium. Gray. Many people in fairy tale couldn't help but put their hands on their foreheads. No, this. So embarrassing. Juvia was actually. Call. Gray undid the magic and backed away quickly. I'm sorry. Repeat. Do it all over again. Quote question mark exclamation mark quote. Juvia was taken aback, not expecting Gray to unlock the magic. No, no need. Juvia can't hurt you. Juvia lost this competition. The referee also announced at this time, Juvia admits defeat. Winner, fairy tale. Ooh, two wins in a row. Great job, Gray. Ghost, this time you know how powerful we are. What about the S level 4 elements? We didn't even need our fairy tale S level magician to fight CJBB to defeat them all. With two consecutive victories, the fairy tale guild's momentum has surged. If this duel is a best of three duel, they have already reached the match point. The Phantom Lord was very angry, and both duels happened. In the beginning, Phantom Lord had the upper hand, but fairy tale turned the tables in the end. Jose, the leader of the Phantom Lord guild, couldn't keep calm at this time. My four elements lost to those trash mages from the fairy tale guild. How is this possible? He felt ashamed now. He was going to beat fairy tale violently, but their guild lost twice in a row. In front of so many people, Phantom Lord's reputation has been ruined. Miss Juvia was unlucky, and was restrained by the magic attribute of the other party. Next, I will teach him a good lesson and let fairy tale lose in shame. Saul, the earth element of the four elements, said. Now there are only three phantom lords left. Besides him, there is Arya, the head of the four elements, and Gajil, the strongest ace of ghosts, the iron dragon. In any case, it's his turn to play, and the strongest will stay behind. The corners of Gajil's mouth curled up slightly and he said, Don't be so angry, President Jose, as long as I'm here, those trash from fairy tale won't have a chance to resist at all, so let them be happy for a while. At this time, something happened in the center of the arena. This. This is. Fairy tale has applied to change dueling members again. What? The ghosts were also taken aback, and looked up. Sure enough, fairy tale planned to change dueling members again. What are they up to? Are you trying to humiliate us? It's fairy tale. But get away with two wins. Although Gray was a little surprised, he knew that Yi Yan and the chairman had their own judgments. You are very strong, if we have a chance in the future, let's fight again. Grace said and turned to leave. Again. Fight again. It's wanting to meet me again equals wanting to see me again equals liking me. Thinking about it, Juvia's eyes glowed with love, and she passed out in excitement. Yi Yan said, Alfman, you go up. Oh. It's finally the man's turn. Alfman was very excited. He didn't expect that he would have the opportunity to play. They were really afraid that Yi Yan would kill all the opponents by himself. 
Myra's complexion changed when she heard this. Yi Yan, husband Huang him. Yi Yan shook his head at Mira and said, Alfman is a man, I hope he is not a man in words, but a real man. The broadcaster Jabadi said puzzledly, Fairy tale actually changed players again, why is that, doing so is almost equivalent to the same ending as the other party. Hearing this, everyone in the auditorium was also talking about it. Indeed, fairy tales doing so was almost like going back to the starting point. Only a few people in Leon understood what fairy tale was doing. Leon said, because Yi Yan is here, as long as that man is here, no matter whether it is success or failure, it will not affect the ending. Yuka nodded, fairy tale has to show an attitude, that is, they are stronger, but it is true, fairy tale's mages are very powerful. Leon also agreed with this, Grey is his younger brother, last time they didn't decide the winner because of Leon's sudden resurrection, but he also knew Grey's current strength. How? He had seen the fire dragon before, and at first he thought it was a small miscellaneous fish. After watching this battle, he knew that the opponent was actually very strong. And even though the two members of the Phantom Lord Guild were defeated, they should not be underestimated. There are so many powerful mages in the outside world. Your Saul, please address me as a gentleman Saul. Alfman waved off his coat. I don't want to know your name, I just need to know that you are my enemy. Beast Arm Black Bull. Alfman used the soul of the beast magic, and his arms turned black, making him look more powerful. Although you don't want to know my name, I do know yours, ah, is it enough with one hand? Is that rumor true? Okay, I know about you, no, I know about all the mages in fairy tale. Rory, don't you bother me. Alfman quickly rushed to Saul and punched Saul. Saul jumped away from Alfman's attack like a flea. You, once had a sister. Alfman was shocked when he heard this, and showed his flaws. Sand dance. A large amount of sand swirls around Alfman, blocking Alfman's sight. Where? The rock concerto. Saul fell on the ground, kicked, and the magic created a large number of stones and shot towards Alfman. Wow. Alfman. Mira was very worried when she saw her younger brother being beaten, especially when the other party said that her younger sister had shaken Alfman. Lucy was surprised, it turns out that Miss Mira has a younger sister. You once failed to receive with your whole body, and you went berserk. My sister lost her life trying to stop you, right? You have been unable to receive with your whole body since then. That's despicable. Everyone in fairy tale is very angry. This is the scar in Alfman and Myra's heart. They don't slap people in the face, and they don't expose their faults when they swear. Of course, this is a battle, and it doesn't matter if you slap your face or not, but it's too much to expose the scars in the opponent's heart. Beast arm katakana middle dot iron bull. Alfman's right arm turned into a steel arm and threw it at Saul. Saul's body quickly burrowed into the ground, and then appeared from a distance, and then his body turned into a snake and wrapped around Alfman's arm. Hello. It's disgusting. Alfman immediately grabbed Soul's body and tried to tear him off. N-O-N-O-N-O, three no's means you are too weak. After saying this, Saul quickly recovered and kicked Alfman in the face twice, knocking Alfman to the ground. Is that the extent? Alfman also saw that the opponent was very strong, and he couldn't defeat it with half-baked magic like his own. If he wanted to defeat this guy, he had to fight. Alfman immediately used his whole body to receive the magic, but just after using it, he recalled his sister in his mind. Ah, the magic backlashed out of control, and Alfman knelt on the ground in pain. Well, don't force yourself, your magic power seems to be dropping significantly. Saul pretended to be friendly as if to help Alfman up. Look at the trick. When he came to Alfman, he quickly kicked Alfman in the stomach. Wow, 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 wow. So despicable. Everyone in Fairy Tale became angry when they saw it. Ha 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 ha. Everyone in Phantom Lord laughed wantonly. It's over. Gentleman's final blow. Plaster Sonata. A huge fist made of plaster hit Alfman's body. Wow, 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 wow. Alfman screamed and was knocked flying and fell to the ground. Well, Alfman moved, as if struggling to get up. What a solid body. You haven't passed out yet. Obviously it's most comfortable to fall down, so I'll give you another blow. At this time, a voice suddenly sounded in Alfman's mind. Is this the end? What? Alfman raised his head and looked in the direction of Fairy Tail, 
and saw Yi Yan standing beside Varen, Varen pointing his finger on his forehead, and Yi Yan's palm resting on Varen's body. It was Yi Yan's voice that sounded in his mind, and it was Valen's magic of reading words. I ask you, is it over like this? Your sister is crying for you, and the survival of the guild may also end because of this failure. Mila has already sealed her heart and lost her magic power. Do you want to continue to block yourself? Didn't you want to protect your sister? Didn't you want to replace your sister as an S-class mage? Just one arm of yours. Half magic. If you're really a man, do what a man should do. Alfman gritted his teeth. What's the matter? Mage obviously doesn't want my sister to cry anymore, why is my sister crying? Ah oh. Alfman stood up and began to use his whole body to receive magic. No. Alfman, you can only accept people. Yep. Because I'm too weak, Lizanna will die, I don't want to be like this anymore, I want to be a man who can protect my sister. Receive the whole body the soul of the beast king. Alfman transformed his whole body into the form of a huge beast king with two horns on his head. Na 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 no. Oh. Alfman rushed in front of Saul, waved his arms quickly, and pounded Saul's body with heavy fists. No. The winner is decided. The winner is fairy tale. Power. The ground around him was shattered, and Saul passed out with a bruised nose and face. Alfman slowly changed back to the human form, and being able to change back to the human form meant that Alfman had not lost consciousness. Very good. Alfman wins. Our fairy tale wins again. Fairy tale all cheered. Ma Karloff said to Yi Yan, Stinky boy, are you sure that Alfman can use his whole body to receive it? Mira, Alfman and Lizanna are all his children. He even cried secretly when Lizanna had an accident. It must be a pity for Mira and Alfman, but he only hopes that Mira and Alfman will be safe in the future, just fine. Yi Yan smiled and said, I'm not sure, but what does it matter if I'm not sure? Successor, 033, is a failure, it doesn't matter, if you have been stagnant in the past, you can't move forward. It's been two years and it's time to move on. At the beginning, Alfman took over the rampage, only Mira and Lizanna, but now they are all there, even if Alfman goes berserk, he can easily subdue Alfman. This is the confidence of Yi Tan. Crack, click, the ground under the feet of Phantom Lord Guild Master Jose was shattered, and his face became hideous and terrifying due to anger. Lost, lost, lost again. The four elements that he, the Phantom Lord, was so proud of, were defeated by the three little-known stinky brats of Fairy Tail. Fairy tale. My four elements were defeated by these rubbish. Gajil said with a faint smile, if you lose in the hands of garbage, then it means that they are also garbage. When I play, I will clean up all the garbage. Arya put his hands together and said, you have no chance, I will clean them all up. Arya of Daikong is ready to play. At this time, fairy tale raised her hand again to signal for a substitution. Fairy tale. Everyone in Phantom Lord was very angry when they saw this scene. Although they felt that the other party deliberately humiliated them at first, they felt very good in their hearts. After all, they lost on their side and there was one less person on the other side. Now it feels not quite right, this happened three times in a row, and none of the opponents was defeated by the Phantom Lord once. Otherwise, the ghost should have defeated the two fairy tales in a normal wheel battle. After all, although the opponent wins, the consumption of magic power, physical strength and injuries are all there. If you persist in fighting, it is easy to be defeated by the next person. That way, although there is a little difference between the two sides, it won't be so obvious, as if their ghosts can't beat fairy tale at all. The people on the Phantom Lord's side reacted, and fairy tale's side naturally felt the difference in the atmosphere, especially the words from the audience. Almost everyone is saying that Fairy Tail is stronger than Spectre, but the two sides are actually equal in battle, and Fairy Tail was even suppressed by the other party for a time. Boy, did you expect it before? Carlos Ma asked Yi Yan. Yi Yan shrugged. How come? I don't know how to predict magic. Then why are you? I just don't think it's necessary. If I don't stop it at that time, these idiots will definitely fight to the end. Whether it is Natsu, Grey, Alfman, or Fairy Tail, it is the same. This is a battle that will determine the survival of the guild. Everyone in Fairy Tail will probably fight to the end. Even if they are seriously injured, as long as there is one breathing will not stop. Urza said, 
it's up to me to play next. No, I'll take care of the rest. Yi Yan, you fool. Urza was a little dissatisfied immediately, Natsu, Grey and Alfman all played, but she couldn't play against Spectre, especially the who destroyed their guild. Do you think I'm no match for that guy? Of course not, it's just that Urza will take a little time for you to solve him. It was just a warm-up before, and now it's time for Spectre to feel completely desperate. As Yi Yan said, he walked towards the venue. Although Natsu, Grey and Alfman have defeated each other, it is still difficult to win. But in this way, others can't say anything, because the three of them are not S-level mages of the Fairy Tale Guild, but they defeated the dollar-level mages of the Phantom Lord Guild. In the eyes of others, it means that Phantom Lord's S-rank is far inferior to Fairy Tale's S-rank mage. When Urza played, Yi Yan felt that Urza could win, but he was not sure about the winning process. After all, the opponent claimed to be the leader of the four elements. If they won like Natsu and the others just now, there would be no huge gap between the two sides. He not only wants to disband Phantom Lord, but also ruin Phantom Lord. Urza shouted at Yi Yan, Yi Yan, when I get back to the guild, I will fight you for 300 rounds. Yi Yan turned his back to Urza. He made a QK gesture with his hands. Seeing Yi Yan playing, many people were very surprised and talked a lot. What? It's not Urza, the Fairy Queen, but Yi Yan, the Sword Emperor. Is Urza going to play the last game? Although they are both S-class mages, anyone in the Mage Guild circle thinks that Sword Emperor Yi Yan is stronger than Fairy Queen Urza. Leon looked at Yi Yan who was on the stage and said, Yi Yan is on the stage, so it means that this duel is about to end. 2.5. Only after he joined Lamia Scale did he realize how famous Sword Emperor Yi Yan is and what a great mage he is. Phantom Lord was also a little bit turbulent because of Yi Yan's appearance. Sword Emperor Yi Yan, not Fairy Queen Urza, but Sword Emperor Yi Yan. Arya of Daikong said with a smile, isn't this just right? After killing the Sword Emperor Yi Yan, Fairy Tail completely cut off the hope of winning. Soon, Arya, the head of the Four Elements, stood opposite Yi. Ah, so sad, so sad, is it because a great mage is going to die here? Yi Yan smiled and said, crying in advance. That's fine, after all, it may be too late for crying. Cried. Lucy was a little confused when she saw Arya crying. Urza said coldly, pretend. Arya stopped crying when she heard Yi Yan's words, and then slowly took off the white cloth covering her eyes with her hands. Since Sword Emperor Yi Yan has appeared, I will go all out. Grey curled his lips and said, why isn't this guy blindfolded? Mira explained, Arya usually closes her eyes, and it seems that only these eyes can restrain the powerful magic power, and opening her eyes means that he is going to exert his full strength. Lucy was very surprised, is his magic so powerful? Sword Emperor Yi Yan, let me show you my magic. Air spaces, absolutely. Arya quickly pushed the palms of both hands in the direction of Yi Yan, and the invisible air bounced towards Yi Yan to shoot the doctor. Breath of the Wind 2 type hyphenation point claw claw kehu win. Yi Yan pulled out the Zanpakuto 29 divine spear casually, swung it forward, and the four claw shaped wind blades slashed towards Arya. Tear. The ground was cut open by claw shaped wind blades. The air bullet sent by Arya was also cut open, and the slash was thrown straight at Arya's shin. Arya's complexion changed, and her body quickly dodged. Boom. Yi Yan's claw-shaped wind blade slashed on the wall of the arena, and the wall was cut open. Is it only this level? The head of the four elements of the Phantom Lord. Arya smiled faintly, it's just the beginning. Yi Yan frowned, just started. Crack, crack, golden lightning flashed under Yi Yan's feet, and his body disappeared in an instant. Swish, Yi Yan's body instantly appeared beside Arya, with the knife resting on Arya's neck. What, so fast? I can't see clearly at all. Arya's complexion changed drastically, and cold sweat continued to ooze from her forehead. Yi Yan said to Arya lightly, This is not the beginning, if I wanted to, you would have been killed just now. So strong. Is this the strongest swordsman in the fairy tale guild, Sword Emperor Yi Yan? It's so strong. Cast your strongest spell, or you won't have a chance to cast it. Yi Yan retracted the knife, and Arya quickly stepped back. Arya's face was ugly. On the one hand, she was frightened by Yi Yan's speed and almost lost her life. 
On the other hand, she was irritated by Yi Yan's attitude. He is the head of the four elements of the Phantom Lord Guild, when has he been so underestimated? Okay, since you want to see it, I'll let you see it, my strongest magic. Arya exudes powerful magic power, and the air gathers towards Arya. This airspace magic will take away all life. If you killed me just now, I wouldn't be able to activate this horrible magic. Now it's too late. Go to hell and repent for your arrogance. Dead space. Zero. Activated. A space that devours everything appeared and attacked Yi Yan. Arrogant. I don't know that the ones who are really arrogant are you who challenged fairy tale. Shoot him. Sharpshooter. Shua. A white long rainbow flashed past, and then swiftly struck towards Arya. How is it possible? It actually shattered this airspace magic. PFF. The white Cheng Hong slashed at Arya's body. Wow, 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 wow. Arya screamed loudly, a huge wound was cut on her body, blood spilled out, and she flew backwards. Boom. Arya hit the wall, then slid to the ground and passed out. Victory. The winner is already divided. The winner. Fairy tale. The referee sent by the Magic Council was also stunned for a while before reacting and announcing the result of the duel. Knife. Very long. At this time, many people finally saw the true face of Bai Cheng Hong, which was a super long knife. So strong. Really too strong. Is this the strength of fairy tale sword Emperor Yi Yan? Arya, the leader of the four elements of the Phantom Lord Guild, has no power to fight back. Oh 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 oh. Good job. Yi Yan. Beautifully done. Seeing the members of Phantom Lord being violently beaten, everyone in fairy tale finally let out a breath of anger. Jose, the president of the Phantom Lord Guild, had a ferocious face as if he were a ghost. Impossible. The four elements were completely wiped out by the wastes of fairy tale. It's. It's. Fairy tale. That stinky brat, Yi Yan. Phantom Lord also fell into self-doubt and fear at this time. They always thought that fairy tale was a garbage guild, and its guild members were nothing more than that. Unexpectedly, three of the four elements of their phantom lord were defeated by fairy tale, who was not even an S-ranked mage. And Arya, the strongest leader of the four elements, was almost instantly killed by the opponent's S-level mage. Isn't their phantom lord the strongest guild? How could this be, and fairy tale still has three S-level mages who are not here, which is almost equivalent to half of fairy tale's 323 combat power. Their Phantom Lord Guild has lost four games in a row. If Gajil loses again in the end, then their Phantom Lord will be disbanded. Let me play sooner. The four elements are all wiped out. Being defeated by waste can only prove that they are also waste. Don't worry, President, I will kill Sword Emperor Yi Yan and Fairy Queen. It's up to you, Gajil. Give it to me. Gajil walked to the center of the arena and stood face to face with Yi Yan. Yi Yan took a closer look at Gajil. Like the original anime, he has long black pointed hair, iron nails on his ears, nose, and eyebrows, and he is wearing a black robe. Gajil joined Fairy Tail after the disbandment of Phantom Lord, and made a lot of contributions to Fairy Tail. But that doesn't change Gajil's role as the culprit in destroying the Fairy Tail Guild. Thinking of how the guild he had been in, which he regarded as his home, had been destroyed by the other party, the anger in Yi Yan's heart suddenly rose. Sword Emperor Yi Yan, I have wanted to fight you for a long time, you have to be careful, I am different from those trash before. Nothing is different, Shua. The answer to Gajil's words was a long white rainbow, cutting across Gajil from the side. Iron Dragon Stick. Gajil quickly turned his arm into an iron rod to resist. Dollar. The sound of iron clanging sounded. As soon as he touched Yi Yan's blade, Gajil's calm expression changed. The opponent's strength from the iron dragon stick was too great, and he couldn't even resist it. Whoa! Gajil's body hit the wall of the arena like a shell, knocking the wall out of a big hole. Boom! Gajil burst through the shattered walls. But just after rushing out, a white long rainbow descended from the sky, and Gajil's arms quickly turned into iron bars and raised his arms to resist. Boom! The ground cracked under Gajil's feet. Who gave you the courage to dare to destroy our fairy tale guild? As Yi Yan said, he raised the knife again and slashed downward. Gajil had no time to dodge, so he had to fight hard again. Boom! The ground under Gajil's feet shattered again, and his own legs sank into the ground. 
Only you dare to provoke our fairy tale. The long knife cut down for the third time. Boom. Gajil raised his arms and gritted his teeth to block it, his waist sank into the ground. What kind of a thing are you to say that other people are trash? The long knife cut down for the fourth time. Boom. Gajil's chest sank into the ground. Just as Gajil yelled, the blade fell for the fifth time. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. Gajil's whole body was submerged in the ground. Everyone in the arena was stunned when they saw this scene. Okay, so scary. Everyone in fairy tale was also taken aback. They thought that Urza's anger would be scary enough, but Yi Yan's anger was even more terrifying. He even hammered Gajil, the ace of the Phantom Lord Guild's Iron Dragon, into the ground like a nail. Gajil. Pipe pipe exclamation mark quote. Everyone in the Phantom Lord Guild couldn't believe it. That was their ace Iron Dragon Gajil of the Phantom Lord Guild. Unexpectedly, he was brutalized by Yi Yan like this. How could this be possible? Boom. Suddenly, the ground began to bulge and break, rushing towards Yi Yan's position quickly, as if something was drilling a hole in the ground. Boom. A figure emerged from the ground, leaping high, it was Gajil. How dare you beat me into the ground, watch me beat you into the ground too. Iron Dragon Sword. Gajil's arm turned into a jagged sword and slashed towards Yi Yan. Snapped. Yi Yan didn't move, the index finger and middle finger of his left hand held Gajil's iron dragon sword firmly. No, isn't it. Gajil's eyes widened in disbelief, but he didn't release any water. Yi Yan aimed his sharp gun at Gajil with his right hand. Oops. Swish. A white long rainbow burst out instantly. Whoa. Gajil screamed, his body was pushed back by the tip of the knife, and the ground was broken. Boom boom. Wow ah ah. The Gajil slammed into the wall, knocking a big hole in the wall. Monster. This is the thought in the minds of all those who watched this battle. Too strong, really too strong. The big ace iron dragon Gajil of the Phantom Lord Guild is like a child in front of Yi Yan, and has no ability to resist at all. Natsu's eyes lit up, so strong. I really want to have a showdown with Yi Yan. Lucy waved her hand in horror, stop joking. A showdown with that monster. It's impossible. At this time, clatter clatter. Gajil stood up from the ground, although the part of the body stabbed by Yi Yan was damaged, but he was not seriously injured. His body turned into steel skin, and there were steel scales on his arms. Iron dragon scales can eliminate all attacks, and your knife can't break through my defense at all. I must be the one who wins in the end. Gajil rushed towards Yi Yan quickly after saying these words. Can't break through your defenses. Can it? Breath of flame one shape hyphenation point Shiranui. Flames ignited on the Zanpakuto divine gun in Yi Yan's hand, and he slashed towards Gajil. Gajil raised his arms to resist. Clang. Gajil found that the iron scales on his skin had been cut open. What? How is it possible? Seeing this, Gajil quickly lowered his head to avoid it. Boom. The ground was cut with a huge trace by Yi Yan. Who gave you the illusion that I can't break through your defense? Iron Dragon Spear Ghost Salary. Gajil's arm quickly turned into an iron spear and stretched rapidly to stab Yi Yan. Yi Yan swung his sharp gun to block all Gajil's attacks. Iron Dragon Stick. Gajil raised his leg, which turned into a thick long iron rod and swept across Yi Yan. Snapped. Yi Yan raised his hand to grab the iron rod. Gajil's body was lifted uncontrollably, and a Tujiru fell to the ground. Boom. Ah. Gajil screamed again in pain. It's time to end. After teaching Gajil a lesson, Yi Yan also gave a sigh of relief for fairy tale. Asshole. Don't think it's over. Gajil quickly got up from the ground, took a deep breath, and puffed up his cheeks. It's roaring. Everyone in fairy tale knew what kind of magic Gajil was going to perform when they saw Gajil's actions, because they had a real dragon slayer in their guild. Iron Dragons. Roar. A gray iron shearing storm spat out from Gajil's mouth, the ground was cut into pieces by the iron shearing Jowlis, and rushed towards Yi Yan violently. Breath of flame form of Wu flame tiger. Yi Yan held the knife in both hands and stabbed forward. The flaming flame turned into a flaming tiger that wanted to bite its prey, facing Gajil's roar. The fiery tiger swallowed the roar of the iron cage and hit Gajil's body. Boom. A terrible explosion appeared. Hua. 
Gajil screamed in pain and knocked a huge hole out of the solid wall of the arena. The whole person's clothes were all torn, and there were scars all over his body. He looked extremely miserable, and he had completely passed out. Only then did the referee come to his senses, and quickly announced the result. Win, the winner. Fairy Tail. Strong, really strong. Fairy Tail Sword Emperor Yi Yan completely crushed the big ace of the Phantom Lord Guild, the Iron Dragon Gajil. Boom. The leader of the Phantom Lord Guild exudes terrifying magic power, and his face is as ferocious as a demon. Impossible. This is impossible. My four elements. My guild's trump card. No one has won. A fairy tale, a guild-like trash. Boom. The horse Karloff also exudes a powerful wave of magic. My guild is not a trash guild. Carlo the horse. You are very powerful. You have such powerful magic power at such a young age, and you can still be included in the Holy Ten. If you can use your magic power correctly, you can set an example for younger generations. Ten walks can promote the development of the magic circle. Is this preaching to me? You Phantom Lord have already lost the bet this time. If you swear and apologize, you will never provoke fairy tale again in this life. I can allow you not to disband the ghost. President. Everyone in fairy tale was shocked when they heard Mr. Carlos' words. They had been at odds with Phantom Lord for a long time. Phantom Lord has done so many bad things, so disbanding is the best. Many people in the Phantom Lord were pleasantly surprised when they heard Carlos the horse's words. They didn't expect that the guild would have the opportunity not to disband. Although their Phantom Lord lost to Fairy Tail, they are still the top guild in Kingdom of Fury. Joining such a guild is more honorable than joining those small guilds. And the Phantom Lord guild has a lot of resources, and there are more choices for doing tasks, so they naturally don't want Phantom Lord to disband. Phantom Lord guild master Jose looked at Mr. Carlo, his face became more ferocious, apologize. You want me to apologize to Mr. Mr. Carlo? Stop joking. Phantom Lord is disbanded. A guild that can't even defeat Fairy Tail, there is no point in keeping it. But don't be complacent, Mr. Carlo, I won't just let it go. You and your Fairy Tail are waiting. You will usher in the most terrifying revenge. Ha 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 ha. Jose laughed, flicked CJAI, and disappeared without a trace. The remaining members of the Phantom Lord Guild were all stunned. The president had left, and they didn't know where they should go. Carlos Ma's face was gloomy. If he said before, he was not very worried. Because after all, Jose is also the president of the official guild Phantom Lord. Although he is very extreme and his methods are very despicable, he still wants to strengthen his guild. As long as he is a regular guild for a day, Jose can't do anything too outrageous. But now that Jose is no longer the president of the regular guild, the chains that bound Jose have also disappeared. Jose was slapped in the face so much today, judging by Jose's attitude today, this matter will definitely not be so easy to let go. Yi Yan saw Carlos Ma's worry, and said to Carlos Ma, Don't worry, old man, I will solve this matter thoroughly. Ma Karloff said in a deep voice, be careful, Jose is one of the Holy Ten no matter what, and his strength should not be underestimated. Although Ma Karloff is kind, he is not pedantic, especially when his own child is about to be hurt, he has to act first and get rid of the other party. He originally wanted to do it secretly, but Yi Yan suddenly opened his mouth to take over the matter. If it was someone else, including S-level wizards such as Urza, he would not allow it, but it was Yi Yan who shot, and he didn't know how strong this brat Yi Yan was. See showing today, this little monster may have grown into the strongest wizard in Fairy Tale. The results of the duel between Fairy Tail and Phantom Lord spread quickly throughout the Kingdom of Fury. Fairy Tail is amazing. Five duels, Phantom Lord didn't win a single one. Fairy Tail is now the strongest wizard guild in Fury. Of course, there is no stronger guild than Fairy Tail. Phantom Lord is no match for Fairy Tail. Now the ghosts are gone, according to the bet, the ghosts will be disbanded if they fail. The Kingdom of Fury is discussing this matter, and it has been a long time since such a lively event happened in Fury. And these people found that the duel of the Wizards of the Grand Guild is really good, and the video of the Fairy Tale and the Phantom Lord duel between the Wizards has sold like crazy. Especially Sword Emperor Yi Yan who was already handsome and powerful, suddenly became the most popular mage. 
I don't know how many girls want to give Yi Yan a monkey. Phantom Lord Guild Headquarters. Boom. Jose angrily crushed the handle of the chair. Fairy tale. Carlo the horseman. That stinky brat named Yi Yan. Don't think that this is the end of the matter. You have destroyed everything about me, so I will also completely destroy fairy tale. Suddenly, a voice sounded. Destroy fairy tale. It's impossible. How about destroying you? With the sound of the voice, Yi Yan also appeared in front of Jose. It's you. Smelly brat. How dare you come here? Seeing Yi Yan's appearance, Jose felt a surge of anger. It was because of this kid that his ghost was defeated, and it was because of this kid that his guild was disbanded. Why don't I dare to come here? Although this duel has defeated all the members of your guild, but there is one most troublesome guild leader who hasn't dealt with the matter, so it's not considered a cure. Jose narrowed his eyes slightly when he heard Yi Yan's words, and there was a dangerous light in his eyes, Little devil, you said you came to solve me. Of course, if you don't get rid of you, you will definitely shoot fairy tail, so I'm here. Arrogance. Jose roared angrily, his body exuded dark purple magic power, and the entire Phantom Lord Guild headquarters shook. He is one of the top 10 wizards of the Holy Spirit, on the same level as Ma Karloff, and even better in terms of cruelty. Carlos the horse sent a mere brat to deal with him, both the Carlos the horse and the stinky kid named Yi Yan were too arrogant. Okay, I'll get rid of you first, then get rid of Fairy Tail and the others, and finally get rid of Carlo the horseman. You have no chance, you will die here today. Ghost Arrow. Jose raised his hand and released a series of black ghost-like arrows, and Yi Yan's figure flickered to avoid all attacks. Shoot him, sharpshooter. Swish. A white long rainbow burst out instantly, piercing towards Jose's head, Jose's complexion changed, and he quickly avoided it. Dark Spiral. A spiral wave of dark energy emanated from Jose's palm. Yi Yan's sharp spear extended again, and quickly slashed at the dark spiral. Shua. The dark spiral was cut open by Yi Yan. You brat. Try this trick. Phantom soldiers. A large number of ghosts were created by Jose, and they rushed towards Yi Yan. As long as the ghost soldiers attacked the body, they would take away the opponent's vitality. Breath of flame unbridled shape Sheng wind of flame. Yi Yan swung his sharp spear, forming a huge vortex of flames with himself as the center. All ghosts were shattered when they touched the flames. I have some skills, no wonder I was able to defeat Arya and Gajil, but I am one of the top 10 holy wizards. If you want to take my life, let Ma Karloff come in person. Jose waved his hand and released a dark red explosion wave. Boom 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 boom. Shua. The blast wave was split in the middle by Yi Yan. Just because you are not worthy of being able to shoot. Troublesome brat. Dark beam. Jose's body exuded powerful magic power, releasing several black and purple beams of light, attacking Yi Yan. Yi Yan stood on the spot and kept waving the Zanpakuto, blocking all these attacks. Are you at this level? Those guys from the Magic Council selected the top 10 magic guides for the Holy Ones. It's really a random selection. You still want to be tied with the old man based on your level. What did you say? Brat. Jose became more angry and released more powerful magic power. Because the dark magic power was too powerful, Jose's eyes turned black. The black and purple beam attacks became more frequent and faster, but Yi Yan still blocked them all. I said you are too weak, you are not worthy to be compared with the old man at all. Yi Yan's words broke Jose's defense completely. Ah. Die to me. Die to me. Breath of flame two shapes rise to the flame. The flames entwined on the Zanpakuto divine spear, and the divine spear pierced the ground, and then slashed at Jose from the bottom up. Jose quickly dodges, he has seen Yi Yan's attack in the arena, it can be said to be extremely sharp. Even Gajil's defense can be broken, and just now he cut through his magic. It must be avoided. Little devil, I underestimated you. I never imagined that Carlo Mafu would have cultivated such a powerful little devil like you, but the more you do this, the more people will be jealous, and the more people will want to destroy you, destroy you, and fairy tale Rex, Rex the horse Karloff. What I don't have, don't want to own it even Carlos the horse. Little ghost, this is the end of the game. A large amount of dark magic power gathered in Jose's hands, and a dark magic bullet was formed. After killing you, I will send all the members of your guild to reunite soon, go to hell. Brat. Deathstorm. 
Jose Porla shot a powerful dark shock wave towards Yi Yan. Yi Yan stood where he was, as if he didn't react at all. 81 of the way of binding, breaking the void. Boom 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 boom. A terrible explosion appeared. The windows of the Phantom Lord's guild headquarters are all broken, and there are a lot of cracks in the building. Opposite Jose, a huge hole appeared in the wall. Hee hee. Ha 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 ha. Die. Turn into ashes. Smelly brat. How dare a mere brat try to assassinate me. What a joke. The next step is to destroy fairy tail. Ha 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 ha. Suddenly, Yi Yan's voice sounded through the smoke. Stop laughing, laughing is worse than crying. H.T. Jose was taken aback, raised his head and looked towards the opposite side, the smoke slowly dissipated, and Yi Yan's figure clearly appeared in front of Jose's eyes. Impossible. That's my strongest magic. You can't take this trick and still be intact. At this time Yi Yan was standing not far in front of Jose, let alone injured, even his clothes were not messed up in the slightest. I don't believe you can block my strongest magic and still be intact. One more blow. The magic power gathered in Jose's hands again. Crack, crack. Yi Yan's body emitted golden lightning, and he held the handle of the knife in his hand. Full concentration. Thunder's breath one shape. Thunderbolt. Rip. A golden lightning flashed quickly, and the strong impact caused by the excessive speed shattered the surrounding ground. Yi Yan and Jose crossed each other and appeared behind Jose in an instant. What? Jose was taken aback, the kid was so fast that he didn't even see clearly. Just wanted to shoot magic behind him. Swish. Jose found that the dark energy bullet condensed in his hand was evenly cut in half from the middle at some point, did that brat cut the magic he was about to emit just now in an instant. But then, Jose found that his line of sight changed and began to fall towards the ground in a twirl. For a moment while falling to the ground, he saw a figure he was very familiar with. He could see it every day when he looked in the mirror, but on this familiar figure, the neck was empty. It turns out that that kid just now not only cut off his own magic, but also cut off his own head. Ma Karloff actually cultivated such a terrifying kid, I really want to make people. Yi Yan glanced at Jose, confirmed that Jose was completely dead, then turned and left. His purpose of coming here was not to persuade or warn, but to kill. In the original plot, Jose lays a trap, nearly kills the old man, and wages war on the fairy tale guild, whichever it is is fooled. That's why Yi Yan will act first, as for killing people. This world is not a peaceful world. He has been in this world for so many years, and his hands are already stained with blood. Killing a guy who tried to destroy fairy tale, Yi Yan is even more there is no psychological burden at all, but it is very fun. Yi Yan walked out of the Phantom Lord Guild headquarters and took a look at the headquarters. Although Jose died, the headquarters still stood here, but the Fairy Tale Guild was already crumbling. Swish swish, Yi Yan swung his knife twice at the Phantom Lord's headquarters. Boom, the Phantom Lord headquarters is destroyed. Basement 1 of Fairy Tale Guild. Fairy Tale vs Phantom Lord Guild Victory. Everyone in fairy tale also changed the dull atmosphere before, and became cheerful again. Ha ha ha. Great. We won. Cheers. Cheers. The ghosts are disbanded, now we are the strongest guild in fury. No. Even if the ghosts hadn't disbanded, our fairy tale would have been the strongest guild in fury. Right. Over the years, the old man tried his best to prevent conflicts between guilds. On weekdays, Phantom Lord's guys come to make trouble, and Fairy Tail will fight back. Although there are more victories and fewer losses, the old man does not allow everyone to find trouble with ghosts. So in the 947 years, Fairy Tail was not less popular with Phantom Lord. Phantom Lord has also been notorious these years, extorting employers and deliberately destroying the opponent's guild. He has done everything, and he has long been a scum in the regular guild. Now that the specters are disbanded, and they were beaten by fairy tale, it's so relieved. At the beginning, everyone didn't quite understand Yi Yan's constant substitutions, but now they feel that the decision to substitute was really right. Suddenly, a voice yelled, there is a big event. There is a great event happening. Then Loki hurried down the stairs. Okay. Many people were taken aback. Loki held the newspaper and shouted, the leader of the Phantom Lord Guild, was killed. What? Almost everyone in the guild was frightened. 
Who is the leader of the Phantom Lord Guild? Such a person was actually killed, how could this not cause an earthquake? Almost everyone looked at the newspaper, and almost half of the pages in the newspaper were reporting on this incident, with many pictures on it. There are also pictures of the Phantom Lord Guildmaster Jose Porla being beheaded, and pictures of the guild being destroyed. The moment they saw these photos, almost everyone in the guild looked at Yi Yan in unison. Judging from these photos, President Jose was beheaded either with a knife or with a sword. However, Yi Yan is almost the only person who has had a bad relationship with Jose recently, who still uses a sword and has the ability to kill President Jose. Immediately afterwards, everyone was very shocked. Who is President Jose? He is one of the top 10 holy wizards in the Ishgar continent. Does Yi Yan already have the strength to kill the top 10 holy wizards? This is too strong. Everyone looked at Yi Yan, who was drinking with the same expression on his face. No one asked if Yi Yan did it. This matter is big or small. Some outsiders have speculated that Yi Yan did it, but there is no real evidence to prove that Yi Yan did it. The guess can only be a guess. Magical Council Era. Boom. Og slapped the newspaper on the meeting table angrily. Fairy tale is too presumptuous. He proposed a duel and won, not to mention winning, and now he even killed Jose, the president of the Phantom Lord Guild. That's one of the ten holy wizards. Even the top ten holy wizards were killed without anyone noticing, what did they want? Yakima defended Fairy Tail, there is no evidence that Fairy Tail did it. Who else but Fairy Tail? The ten holy wizards can be killed, and everyone else is in danger. Fairy Tail must be severely punished. Counselor Michaelo agreed. Yes. Fairy Tail must be disbanded. The Phantom Lord has been disbanded. Fairy Tail will be disbanded again. The two largest thorn guilds in Ishgar have disappeared, and the work of our magic council will be easier. Quote. Teacher Michaelo is right, these two guilds caused a lot of trouble anyway, it would be best to disappear together. Suddenly, he he, a chuckle sounded. Ultir, what are you laughing at? It was time for a serious meeting, and the sudden laughter was naturally extremely harsh in the eyes of others. Everyone, now is not the time to talk about this. Have you ever thought about what this incident represents? What do you mean by that? If this thing was really done by Yi Yan from the Fairy Tale Guild, it means one thing, that is, there are two magic guides of the top 10 magician levels in the Fairy Tale Guild. This is not counting the other S rank mages in the Fairy Tale Guild. Fairy Tale can disband with peace of mind. If they refuse to disband, it may become a more troublesome guild than the Balam Alliance. The faces of many magic counselors changed. The Magic Council has always treated those mage guilds with a superior attitude, thinking that the other party is their subordinate. Hearing what Ultir said now, he immediately felt the seriousness of the matter, and it was far from being as simple as disbanding fairy tale. Jose, the leader of the Phantom Lord Guild, is still alive, and he is likely to become a super troublesome guy. In a way, fairy tale did us a big favor. Furthermore, fairy tale is now in full swing. If we easily attack Fairy Tail, even if we are the Magic Council, we will probably attract criticism. Is this the end of the matter? Zekilane smiled and said, What else can we do? We have no evidence to prove that Fairy Tail did it. Even if evidence is found, it proves that Yi Yan killed Jose 3.9. Although Jose is one of the top 10 magicians, he is not a magician who belongs to the regular magician's guild. It's not really a fight between guilds. Then what should we do about this matter? One of the ten holy wizards was killed. This is no small matter. Let's push it to the dark guild, it's not once or twice anyway. Many of the judges felt a little aggrieved and had to pay for fairy tales troubles, but they had to. Soon, the magic council released news, saying that the dark guild took advantage of the phantom lord's disbandment, and when the interior was empty, the dark guild assassinated the phantom lord guild president Jose, resulting in Jose's death, not Fairy Tail's fault. 4. Although some people did not believe the news released by the Magic Senate, most people believed it. For most ordinary people, the Dark Guild is far away from them. There are conflicts between the Dark Guild and the Bright Guild, but there is no conflict with most ordinary people. After all, for most Dark Guilds, these ordinary people are also their customers. Fairy Tail Guild Sight. Good. Heavy. Ah. Natsu was moving with many logs on his back, and his body couldn't help shaking. 
Fairy Tales Original Guild has become a dilapidated building due to Gajil's destruction, and the cost of repairing is no less than rebuilding. In addition, the original guild is indeed a bit old, and the guild has grown rapidly in recent years, and the space of the guild is a bit insufficient. It didn't fit the spirit of Fiore's first guild, so the old man decided to build a new guild. Gray, who only carried a piece of wood, complained, who told you to take so much at once, are you an idiot? Haha, <laughs> you are too weak, that is your limit. Huh, if I'm serious, I can earn twice as much as you. Ah, ah, dot how, dot how about 29. Gray struggled to move with nearly twice as much wood as Natsu. A figure secretly applauded Gray after seeing it. Huh, Gray felt as if someone was watching him, turned his head to look, and the figure immediately hid. Woo. At this time, the wooden rope broke, and Gray was also buried by the wood. Ha 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 ha. How embarrassing. Did you see that, happy? Natsu mocked Gray wantonly. Boom. Heavy footsteps sounded, and Yi Yan resisted Gray's three or four times the wood and calmly walked in front of Natsu and Gray. Natsu didn't smile anymore, monster. In a blink of an eye, a week passed quietly, and most of the main body of the guild was completed. Things about the duel between Spectre and Fairy Tail and the death of Phantom Lord Guildmaster Jose also faded away. The chairman, Carlos Ma, was also called to reprimand by the Magic Council, and the Senate issued new regulations, which did not allow gambling between guilds. Old Ma, your actions this time were a bit too reckless. The sixth civic of the Magic Council said to Ma Karlov. Yakima is Carlo's friend, and the two have known each other for most of their lives. On weekdays, Fairy Tail makes troubles, and Yakima often speaks for Fairy Tail. Well, I know, but the young people in the guild have grown up and have their own ideas, and the results are not bad. Old horse, don't mess around again. This time, some people proposed to disband Fairy Tail. In the end, it was cancelled because the risk of disbanding Fairy Tail was too high and the evidence was insufficient. Some people in the Magic Senate have already regarded Fairy Tail as a threat. This is a very bad idea. Good sign. If you continue like this, one day you will be severely punished. As you said, the young people in the guild have grown up, so you should retire quickly, otherwise you will not be able to bear it. Everyone. From today onwards, the work entrustment will be resumed. Although it is a temporary information desk, it must be relocated for the family. With a bright and lovely smile on her face, Mira mobilized and shouted at the newly built temporary information desk. Ow oh. There's a job, there's a job. A group of people rushed to the mission commissioning board. These guys are all moving bricks these days, but these guys are so boring. Lucy complained. What are you doing? I usually drink wine and look very idle. Ha ha ha. Suddenly, an angry voice sounded, try to say it again. Almost everyone was taken aback and looked towards the direction of the sound, only to see Urza standing there aggressively clenched his fists. Urza, Laxus, who was sitting opposite Urza, said, then make it clear now, our guild doesn't need the weak, and I'm ashamed to go to the streets if I'm underestimated by the ghosts. You, Happy said in surprise, Laxus is back. This, he started to be arrogant as soon as he came back. Gray was also very upset with Laxus. S rank Laxus. For a newcomer like Lucy, this is the second time she sees Laxus, Yi Yan and Urza are common to her. There are too many weaklings in this guild. Too many to bear to look at directly. What's the point of keeping a group of guys who have no contribution but only know how to drag the guild back? It's embarrassing to go out to do missions, but it will make people think that the strongest guild is nothing more than that, it's embarrassing for the guild. If it's really for the sake of the guild, shouldn't it be better for those weak people to withdraw from the guild consciously? Urza wanted to do it immediately when he heard this. Laxus, you fool. Natsu yelled and charged at Laxus, punching Laxus. Crack. Laxus' body turned into a golden lightning and appeared not far behind Natsu in an instant. Laxus, I want to fight you. You 150 heartless guy. Ha 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 ha. Even if you can't catch me, are you still qualified to fight with me? Snapped. A hand was placed on Laxus' shoulder suddenly, Laxus' laughter stopped abruptly, and he turned his head to look at the owner of the hand on his shoulder. Yi Yan. Yi Yan is Laxus' biggest opponent in the guild, and maybe others will wonder whether Yi Yan has anything to do with the death of the Phantom Lord Guildmaster. 
But Laxus knew that it was Yi Yan who did it. He was able to kill Jose, one of the ten great wizards, without being injured. And when Yi Yan appeared behind him just now, before his shoulder was touched by Yi Yan, he didn't notice at all that this guy's strength had become even more terrifying. Enough, Laxus, none of you should hear that from you. Humph. Laxus shook his shoulders and turned to leave, then stopped and turned to look at everyone in the guild. If I inherit the guild, all of you weak people will disappear, and those who dare to resist me will be kicked out. I want to build the strongest guild. The strongest guild in history that surpasses any guild. Ha 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 ha. Laxus laughed and left, because what Laxus said, the atmosphere in the guild became heavy. No one likes to admit that they are weak, but what Laxus said seemed to be speaking to them. That Laxus guy is so arrogant. Exactly. He didn't help at all this time. Still want to become the president. Laxus' arrogance naturally caused dissatisfaction among many people in the guild. Yi Yan clapped his hands and said, Okay, everyone should do what they want. Don't worry about Laxus' words, I guarantee that the guild will not change in any way. Hearing Yi Yan's words, the tense atmosphere in the guild has eased a lot. In the absence of the guild leader, Yi Yan has the highest status in the guild. Especially after this incident, the guild has become more trustworthy. Inheritance. Dot how is that possible? Although Lucy only met Laxus twice, the two times Laxus left a bad impression on him. Especially this time, Laxus actually wanted to kick everyone out of the guild. It was really too bad. How could such a person inherit the guild and become the next president? Mira sighed and said, that's not necessarily true. Quote question mark quote. Actually Laxus is the grandson of the president. A. Lucy was taken aback by the news, Laxus and the president are nothing like each other. So if the president retires, the next president is likely to be Laxus. How? Dot how? Dot how? I don't like him, how can someone who doesn't care about his guildmates become the guild leader at all? Mira said with a smile. You don't have to worry about this. Laxus is very likely, but not the most likely. Laxus is not the most likely to become the guild leader in the guild. Laxus is at most the third pick. No. 3. Who's no? 1. Mira looked at Yi Yan in the crowd, and Lucy followed Myra's gaze. That's right, Yi Yan is super powerful and very responsible. Although he is an S level mage, he doesn't have the arrogance of an S level mage like Laxus. This time, he led the guild to defeat the Phantom Lord. If it is said who is most likely to become the guild leader, Yi Yan is very likely. Natsu came here and said indignantly, Laxus that it guy, one day I will teach that a lesson, Lucy, let's do the mission. Don't you still have to earn rent? Lucy's complexion changed. Rent. It's over. I actually forgot such an important thing. I'm still drinking tea leisurely. Work, work. Lucy and Natsu also joined the army to grab the task. In the evening, the moon hung high, and Carlo the horse sat on the beam of the newly built guild house to watch the moon and drink, very leisurely. I couldn't help thinking of what my friend Yakima said during the day, retire, ah. The guild has also taken on a new look, and the president is about to be replaced. Although that stinky boy Yi Yan has done well this time, he is still a bit reckless, and he is still too young. Important to train for a while. Carlos Ma is the chairman, and as the chairman, it is natural to be fair. It's not that he didn't consider other s rank mages. In the past, Guildarts was the most suitable. Guildarts has a very high prestige in the guild, but Guildarts is a prodigal character, and he can't sit still. Laxus has serious mental problems, Mistogan is not good at communication, Urza is okay, but not as good as Yi Yan. Yi Yan is his most promising next president. He has strength, responsibility, and high prestige in the guild. If Yi Yan becomes the president, there should be very few objections from the guild. The biggest problem is still on the Laxus side. When Ma Karloff had a headache for the next president, Yi Yan practiced silently in his home. Defeating Jose, the top 10 holy wizards, is nothing for Yi Yan to be proud of. The top 10 holy wizards have certain authority, but not absolute authority. Don't say that the 12 shields of the guardians cultivated by Zirf in the later period are the demons of the Book of Zirf that Zirf abandoned, and the general holy 10 is not an opponent. What impressed Yi Yan the most was that the holy 14, who ranked 2nd to 5th, teamed up, but was easily defeated by the holy 10, 
who ranked first, and the first place was just an ordinary member of the Twelve Shields of the Protectors. Just one member. His goal is not these, but the Black Dragon Akunarolia. If he doesn't get down on Akunarolia for a day, he will insist on exercising. Ding. The basic survival mission is completed. Get a reward. A chance to draw a lottery. Yi Yan stopped and said lightly, has another month passed. This is the task that Yi Yan has always had when he came to this world, that is to survive, every month of survival will reward a chance to draw a lottery, 12 times a year. Before he knew it, it had been 6 years since he came to this world, and he had at least 72 chances to draw a lottery. Open the system. Swish. A transparent system panel that only Yi Yan can see appeared in front of his eyes. God level swordsman system. Host. Yi Yan. 19. Reiatsu. LV69. Super. Zanpakuto. Sharpshooter. 100%. Ice wheel pill. 51% unlocked. Swordsmanship. LV83. Super. Shunpo. LV71. Super. Ghost way. LV82. Super. White fight. LV48. Advanced. Breathing method. Wind, fire, water, earth and mine. Remaining number of draws, five times. Of Zhao only. This is the current attribute of Yi Yan. Swordsmanship is constantly improving due to continuous practice of breathing and the combination of breathing and swordsmanship. Shunpo used Thunder Breath to cooperate with it, forming his unique Shunpo, and Shunpo's level also increased rapidly. Ghost Dao LV82, which means that Ghost Dao below number 82 can exert 100% of its power, and the power will decrease as it goes up. Although Baida didn't practice much, he just fights with bare hands, one skill can master all skills, his swordsmanship is constantly improving, even Baida has unknowingly improved to this level over the years. Compared with 6 years ago, this attribute is undoubtedly extremely gorgeous, but Yi Yan feels that this is not enough, and it needs to become stronger. As for the lottery draw, the improvement brought by the lottery draw is too small so he simply saves it and waits for a better opportunity to improve it later. Yi Yan, no, Rocky has left fairy tale. When Yi Yan was practicing under the waterfall, Grace suddenly ran over with a panicked look. Yi Yan froze for a moment, and then jumped from under the waterfall to the shore. Don't panic, tell me what's going on. The relationship between Rocky and Grey is very good, and they often drink and chat together on weekdays. Today, when he went to the apartment to look for Rocky to drink, he found the letter left by Rocky, so he hurried to the guild to tell everyone the news. That guy. Dot has been acting weird lately, and his complexion is also very bad. I'm a little worried that something might have happened to him. Yi Yan, can you find him? He heard what Urza said, Yi Yan Yan has a way to find someone, so he came here in a hurry. Could it be? Loki is a celestial spirit, or a celestial spirit that has made mistakes, and he knows this. After Lucy joined the fairy tale guild, he planned to have time to solve Loki's affairs, but one thing after another recently made him forget this matter long ago. If Loki left without saying goodbye, then it is very likely that Loki is going to die. Where is Lucy? Lucy. Lucy is also helping to find it. I see, go tell everyone not to worry. I will bring Rocky 800 back to the guild soon. After Yi Yan finished speaking, she immediately used Shunpo to leave. Hey, Yi Yan, where are you going to find him? At this time, in the mountains outside the town of Magnolia, a cemetery stands alone, and Loki is here without saying goodbye. Suddenly, a voice sounded, it really is here. Rocky was taken aback, turned around and looked back, only to see that Lucy came here at some unknown time. Lucy. Everyone is looking for you, this is Karen's tomb, right? Celestial Spirit Mage Karen, your owner, Celestial Spirit Loki, no, it's really Leo who is Leo. Dot. You actually discovered my Celestial Spirit identity. Lucy called out Celestial Spirit's identity, and he can't deny it now. Because I am also a Celestial Spirit Mage who has signed contracts with many Celestial Spirits. I finally understand your identity, but I should have known it earlier. Originally, when the key owner dies, the contract with Celestial Spirit will be automatically terminated, and before the next owner appears, Celestial Spirit will be forcibly sent back to the Celestial Spirit world. Karen is dead, the contract between you should have been terminated, 
but you are still alive, there must be some reason that prevents you from returning to the celestial spirit world. It means that human beings can't survive in the celestial spirit world, and celestial spirit can't survive in the human world. In the human world, celestial spirit's life will be deprived little by little, and eventually die. Loki said with a wry smile, I have been in the world for three years. Three years. One year is incredible. Lucy couldn't believe it when he heard this. Well, it's reached the limit now, and I can't use any strength at all. Lucy said hurriedly, maybe I can help you. Tell me why you can't go back. I'll open the door for you. I don't need help. What nonsense are you talking about? You will really die if you go on like this. The reason why I can't go back is simple, because I broke the taboo between the owner and celestial spirit, and as a result, I was permanently exiled from the celestial spirit world. Permanent exile. This is my crime, I accept death as a punishment, I am a traitor to the world of celestial spirit, I killed the owner Karen. Then Loki explained the reason why he stayed in the human world. In order to protect Ares of Ares, he was forced to stay in the human world, which made Karen unable to summon celestial spirit. Karen also forced to work and was killed. Although Karen's death was not directly related to him, it was indirectly related. When Loki finished speaking these words, his body shook and fell to the ground. Loki. CJCJ, is it time? What are you talking about? Because of me, Karen couldn't summon other celestial spirits. She went to work in that situation and lost her life. It's the same as killing her. After that day, I can't go back to the celestial spirit world. Celestial the spirit world also refuses to accept celestial spirits who disobey their master's orders. It is great to meet such a good celestial spirit mage like you in the last stage of life. Thank you, Lucy. Loki's hand has already begun to become transparent, starlight is shining in his hand, and his body will also start to disintegrate. Wait, I absolutely want to help you. Don't give up. Don't give up, Rocky. Everyone in fairy tale is counting on you. Rocky has given up. As long as you return to the celestial spirit world, you can recover your vitality, I must help you get to the celestial spirit world. This kind of thing is impossible. Lucy shouted unwillingly, isn't this weird? You didn't kill Karen, it was an accident. Open, the Leo gate, let Loki return to the celestial spirit world. Turn it on, please. Lucy, forget it, just leave it at that, stop it. Don't, how can I just watch my companion disappear in front of me? Lucy began to send magic power to Loki, trying to open the door forcibly for Loki. Celestial spirit exists in this world mostly consumes the magic power of contracted celestial spirit mages. No, Lucy, you can't use up all the magic at once. I said it, I must save you, no matter what, I will open the gate of the celestial spirit world. It can't be opened, the celestial spirit that betrayed human beings can't be controlled by the celestial spirit ghost. Stop it. You have started to solidify with the star slaves, and if you continue like this, you will disappear together. Don't add more guilt to me sin. Lucy shouted unwillingly, what crime are you? If this is the rule of the celestial spirit world, then I will change it. Suddenly, a whirlwind appeared, and the water from the surrounding waterfalls began to flow back into the sky, forming a huge vortex in the sky. Then a tall old man in armor appeared in the air, and the sky turned into a starry universe. A. No, it won't be. Dot how could it be? Celestial Spirit King. How could it appear here? Loki couldn't believe it when he saw the person coming. King, is that the most powerful celestial spirit? Lucy had heard the legend of the Celestial Spirit King, but she never expected to meet him in this situation. Old friend, oh wait to sign a contract with humans, not to harm the owner of the key. Leo, although there is no direct owner of the Sand Sea, you indirectly killed her, so I refuse you to return to the Celestial Spirit world. Lucy immediately stood up and retorted, wait, isn't this a pity? Enough Lucy. Loki was afraid that Lucy would collide with the Celestial Spirit King. If the Celestial Spirit King got angry, Lucy would not be able to become a Celestial Spirit Wizard. My old friend, the rule is, cannot be changed. Loki's expression was shocked at this time, he guessed that it was because of Lucy that the Celestial Spirit King would show up, and what kind of identity was Lucy to make the Celestial Spirit Lord come here in person. Lucy argued, 
but Loki has also endured three years of pain. For his companions, for Ares, this is a last resort, isn't it? I also understand the feelings of my old friend, and I feel heartbroken for it. Don't talk about old friends. Now, we need to talk about the friends in front of you. You listen to me, bearded man. It's a sad surprise. What are you saying Loki is guilty of? I can't accept that he's guilty. Lucy cast all her magic as she said this. Enough Lucy. I don't want anyone's forgiveness. I just want to make amends. Just let me disappear like this. I don't allow. This is no crime. It's no crime to think about your companions. For a moment, the celestial spirit owned by Lucy appeared beside Lucy at the same time, and then disappeared instantly because Lucy's magic power was exhausted. Lucy. My friends all think so. If you are also a celestial spirit, Ja must be able to understand the feelings of Bai Luoji and Ares. Lucy's magic power is almost exhausted, but she still insists on persuading. What foolish thing are you doing? Even if it's only for a moment, you may die. Magic power is the life force of a mage. If the magic power is below the warning line or reaches zero, then the mage is likely to will die. Old friend, you have already mentioned this, and the mistake may be the rules. Quote. Hearing the words of the celestial spirit king, Loki couldn't believe it. The supreme king in the celestial spirit world actually admitted that he was wrong. There was a smile on Lucy's face. Leo was convicted for his companion Ares, in order to save Leo's old friend, in view of breaking the beautiful bond, I will deal with this matter extra, Leo, you can return to the celestial spirit world. Old man with a long beard, you are not bad. Celestial spirit king grinned when he heard Lucy's words. Forgive your sins, thank the stars for their guidance, if you still want to pay for your sins, call this friend's strength, protect her well, she is a friend worthy of your protection, protect her with your life. Hearing this, tears kept streaming from Loki's eyes. Bang dang, a gate appeared behind Loki, and Loki's body slowly flowed into the gate. Thank you, please take care of me. I will protect you from now on. A golden key appeared in Lucy's hand. Please take care of me. After Lucy finished speaking, she fell to the ground, and her magic power was almost exhausted for a moment, and she had no strength at all. Snapped. A palm supported Lucy's face just as Lucy was about to touch the ground. Lucy slowly opened her eyes, and a familiar figure appeared in front of her. Yi. Yi Yan. Thanks a lot. You saw it all. How did you come here? Have you forgotten? I'm pretty good at finding people. Only then did Lucy remember that Yi Yan could also find Eisenwald when she was tracking Eisenwald back then. Yi Yan picked up Lucy, Lucy's face turned red immediately, she is being hugged by Princess Yi Yan now, this pose is too embarrassing. You are tired, take a good rest. When Lucy heard Yi Yan's words, she couldn't hold on any longer, and fell asleep with her head on Yi Yan's chest. In fact, Yi Yan wanted to make a move several times just now, but seeing Lucy's persistence made him hold back. He actually has a way to send Loki back to the celestial spirit world, but sending him back is smuggling, and that would not be the best result for both Loki and Lucy. But when it comes to critical moments, he will still make a move, thinking that his companion's life is more important than anything else. Yi Yan returns to fairy tale with Lucy in his arms. Yi Yan, what happened to Lucy? Did you find Loki? Don't worry, Loki has been found, let everyone come back, as for Lucy, she fell asleep because of too much mana consumption. Where's Loki? Yi Yan glanced at the key of the zodiac that Lucy was holding firmly while asleep, this is Loki. What? Everyone was a little dumbfounded, what the hell is Loki the key, but Urza kind of understood by Luoki's identity. Let Loki explain the details to everyone after Lucy wakes up tomorrow. Early the next morning, Celestial Spirit. Well, yes, that's it. After Lucy came to the guild, he summoned Loki, and Loki also explained his situation. I didn't realize it at all. Grace spent the longest time with Loki, and always thought that Loki was human. No, but you are neither a cow nor a horse. Isn't the Virgo that Natsu knows also looks like a human being? Lucy said, Rocky is the Celestial Spirit of Leo. Lion. Happy said happily, a lion is a cat that grows up, right? Well, that's right. Lucy complained, it's not right. Wow, it's too bitter. Then what are your plans in the future, will you stay in the guild? 
Grey asked a more realistic question, after all, Loki's identity has changed now. I am now Lucy's property, and from now on I will be in charge of appearing as a handsome prince charming when Lucy is in danger. I'm so envious, I want celestial spirit too. What kind of celestial spirit? Of course it's a dragon. Now that I have learned dragon slaying magic, it would be a pity not to fight a real dragon. Natsu waved his fist excitedly. Lucy, the celestial spirit wizard, complained helplessly, celestial spirit is not used to compete with you. That's right, celestial spirit is used to express love. You'd better go back. Wait first, here you go. Loki took out a few coupons from his pocket and gave them to the three. What is this? I can't stay in the human world for a long time now. This is an invitation ticket for inviting my girlfriends to a holiday hotel. I have been taken care of by everyone. This is for you. Go and have fun. Ocean. Oh oh oh. Never stayed in such a luxurious hotel. The eyes of the three people began to light up. I gave it to Yi Yan and Urza just now, have fun. After speaking, Loki disappeared without begging. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.